you ever been in a situation where you are flying your RC airplane and something bad happens in mid-flight and I mean like your battery gets disconnected although that one is very stupid or your ESC burns out or there's a short because you did a very poor job in the wiring process well in that case you know there's nothing, nothing to do because the airplane just goes down whatever happens you don't have any control because you know the servers are not working the receiver is not working anything is powered there's no energy going or flowing through the system in that case that's really really bad and that happened to me a few weeks ago when I was flying one of the Valentex airplanes uh, the motor and the ESC burned in mid-flight so yeah I didn't have any control over it it landed really hard but it landed so I could uh, recover it but yeah to avoid that how to avoid that that's the big question well I've been researching about how to do that and I I came across some very easy solutions and I've designed one myself using two diodes so you can do it at home with diodes you can buy diodes online for very cheap but I made my own design with this I also designed this one still needs more work but this one is much more efficient and it doesn't have the power losses of the diodes but you know the power losses are like a few milliamps we're gonna test it in a moment but this one is um, has you know circuits specially designed for this kind of applications so let's take a look at this uh, systems I like to call them redundancy power systems or you can also call them backup power systems these are very simple so let's take a look at them and see what happens but to understand how this system works we have to understand how diodes work they are a very simple electronic component that will let current flow in one direction but it will block it in the other that means that you can use diodes to protect circuits against reverse polarity connections because the electricity won't flow at all if you connect a battery in reverse you can use an even simpler battery power backup system by using two battery packs connected in parallel the problem with this is that you have to make sure that both packs are the same voltage and same capacity otherwise if one is a higher voltage will be charging the other one but this very simple system will work for short flights of under 20 minutes but it's not the most sophisticated system if you want to use a power backup system of different batteries with different voltages without any problem then you have to use the diodes that way they won't interfere each other this is a schematic of the circuit we're using in this project notice that if we disconnect one of the power sources the light or the load will keep working the total consumption of current is divided between the two diodes in this example this light is consuming 5.61 milliamps and each diode is letting through about 3 milliamps about half the current because they are dividing the work between them if one of the power sources is out then the whole load will depend on one diode also notice as there is a voltage drop between the diodes and this is a normal behavior of the diodes the better the diodes the better performance but even the best diodes will have a little bit of voltage drop there are specialized circuits that behave like diodes and they use MOSFET transistors as perfect diodes these kind of circuits have a very low voltage drop and that's the kind of circuit I designed using an IC called LM5050MK but there are many others with similar functions so for this I designed two circuits one with the diodes which was very easy to make and then another with the LM5050MK but for that one I had to read the datasheet to understand it fully and design the circuit correctly it took me a couple of days to research and understand it correctly and design my circuit and of course I ordered my circuits from JLCPCV using the STM service so I don't have to do any soldering at home JLCPCV is the sponsor of this video check out the really low prices they offer from their services in the link in the description below I also did a quick test with the diodes that I had at home I soldered them to a prototype circuit board and of course it worked but the size and the look of it is not very good but if you want to do it yourself you can buy some diodes online and do it at home let's start testing our circuits alright so I have set up this little test that I'm going to do right now 
to push this guy to the limits. I'm going to run a brushless motor uh, from this guy out of two 3S batteries. Uh, we're going to test uh, different possibilities like unplugging one battery or unplugging the other, see how it behaves. Remember that this is made for only um, servos, you know, for the basics of an airplane. And in case of an emergency, that will take over, or well, it's always working, but uh, it's very useful when you lose uh, your, your ESC or your UBEC or one of the power systems. So this is not going to be subject to high voltage or high amps, especially high amps or high currents. So what we're going to do right now is, is, is a very improbable scenario. So we're just going to see if it can handle that, you know? So we have a lot of headroom in case of something bad happens. So I'm going to connect this and also I need to power this, um, this servo tester because this servo tester or the ESC doesn't have a UBEC. And we're going to plug the other battery in here. So it's very important to follow the polarity. And we have the two batteries connected. Okay, now we're going to start pulling some amps. I'm going to be careful with the propeller there. Let's see what happens. So right now we have 1.3 amps continu continuous and we have 10 volts. Temperature, it's it's okay, it's getting warm, but it's not that bad. I can leave my finger there. I'm, I'm not gonna burn my, my finger. So it's okay. So you can pull 1.3 amps continuously and still okay. So let's see what happens if I change the battery, if I disconnect one battery. So you see the other battery has a lower voltage and that's why start to it 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 sounded like it's it, the power is is lower now and that's because the other battery is lower in voltage but the amps are almost the same let's connect the other battery again and there you go we have the voltage up again and let's disconnect the other battery same speed all right still warm but it's not hot it's just warm so we know we, that we can pull 1.3 amps continu continuously so now let's go up to around five or maybe let's try three first let me put this batteries here okay let's do this three amps 3.5 amps they are get, they're getting a lot warmer but not that bad yeah they're getting hot now 3 amps continuously so we reach we reach 6 amps there at one point or maybe 7 and they are hot, but they're not like burning. They're okay. So as you can see, the system, it's, it's very good. It works fine. And you know, you're never going to uh, put this system under those loads because a servo maximum can maybe consume 500 milliamps under a load. And that depends on the servo. Let's say a big servo with high torque for RC cars uh, can, reach up to maybe one amp maximum. So if you're using four servos of those, they're going to be four amps. And you know, they're not all the time, you're, they're not consuming four amps continuously, they're just peaks. So yeah, so this can handle that in, in those circumstances, but of course in airplanes we, we use only small servos. So let's see what's the voltage drop between the diodes, 500, millivolts and 
400 millivolts. It's not too much, but we're, when it is working, let's leave it at one amp. Okay, now let's try again. Voltage drop is 600 milli millivolts and 600 millivolts. Not that much. So as you can see, the power loss wasn't that much. Um, it was running at one amp continuously and the, the voltage drop was 500 millivolts. So one, uh, 0.5 volts times one amp, that's uh, 500 milliwatts of power. So 500 milliwatts of power loss is not that much for one amp and that's, that's pretty good actually. Now let's test the other system and see how it goes. The, the other system is also very simple, still needs some work, but it should work as good as this one, or even better. So let's try that one. Here we go. That's one amp. And this circuit is using MOSFETs, so they're supposed to be a lot better with this. So let's go up to 2 amps, 2.1 amps. I don't feel that it's getting warm, it's just maybe a little bit, but it's not hot. Let's go to 3, 4 amps continuously. No, nope, not warm. Well, now, now they're getting warm. Let's stop it. I think one of them is getting warmer than the other. But it dissipates very, very fast. So now let's, uh, let's try this. Yes. Well, that's good. Now I'm, go I'm going to swap these batteries and see if the other gets warmer. Let's go up to 5 amps. Five point sixteen, five point thirteen amps continuously, and they are they're not like warm, but but it's not hot. The MOSFETs are handling this very good. Five continuous amps, and they're not getting hot at all. Maybe a little bit warm and that's it. So if I change the battery, that's it. Let's put it again. And off. And the thing is, it's, it's warm, but it's just a tiny bit warm. And I mean, this I can go on and and still get up to 10 amps, maybe, and maybe get it hot a little bit. But it is working very, very good. And with these 3S batteries, I don't think I will go up to 10 10 amps. Maybe I don't know. Let's try. Yeah, batteries are dying now, so I I could reach yeah 10 amps, a, a bit more than 10 amps. For now, I'll keep working on these systems to improve them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next project.